Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. All right, I couldn't put uh, couldn't put this one down. I really wanted to get the uh, uh, data lines to work. We had the address lines working, but the data lines didn't work because of the uh, connector problem that I had. Um, so it's not very pretty, but uh, I'll try to zoom in on this. Um, what I've done is I've uh, piggybacked a, 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 a um, socket on top. So I have a socket on the bottom, a socket on the top, and then my wires uh, pick off the data lines, and then we can put on that onto the uh, CPU card, and it'll be a pass-through. So the front, the normal front panel connector still, can still go on, and then we'll eavesdrop on the uh, data lines, and they should appear. Uh, let me uh, let me try to zoom in on that. All right, I think. Uh, I think we're close enough there. Uh, you can see that I've just uh, piggyback on a socket, and now we uh, uh, we can just pass through. I also had some LEDs that we didn't really talk about last time, which are are these LEDs here, and there are the uh, status byte uh, that comes off of the bus. It's one of the memory cycles. A uh, status byte comes out. And it's the same status lines that are uh, displayed on the front panel. Uh, the M1, the memory fetch one cycle, if there's an input or an output instruction being done, a memory write instruction being done, uh, they're all displayed here just on a, a little uh, uh, row of LEDs. Okay, let's uh, make some room here. We'll take the uh, extender card out. And uh, this is our... Um, Connection to the front panel. Uh, let me get something to uh, wedge that out with. Uh, a screwdriver. Okay. I want to bend these pins. Be careful with it. All right. So uh, here's our magic socket, and we'll get our card. And let's see, I think we can put it in the system right behind. Let's put it here. And then we will connect our lines. I believe they go like this. You can see what I'm doing. Wow. That does not want to go on there. Let's push on the card here. There we go. First time that socket has ever been used. All right. And then we can connect these in. There. Uh, think that'll work? Alright, cards are seated and we can bring out our uh, display, put it right there, make sure it's in focus. Alright, let's turn this thing on. <laughs> it's upside down of course. Uh, All right, so we can do a uh, deposit zero. So does it show zero? It does. And deposit one, excellent. Uh, one one, very nice. F zero, good. So we have the data line working. So now we can um, Reset. Let's examine. Ah, there we go. So now we're looking at the uh, boot ROM on the disk controller card. Uh, it starts at F0 to 0. The first instruction is a 3E. So if we do examine next, we can cycle through and we can see that program. 
So it's nicer than the front panel in some ways, not as nice in other ways. If you're used to hexadecimal, then uh, it's nice to do it this way. Um, we can write our own little program here. Let's go to zero. And um, we can do a uh, input, input instruction, which remember was 333. Well, it's actually DB. Not as nice, right? The 8080s were designed in octal. Uh, and it uh, wasn't designed in hex. Uh, do FF. And then we'll do an output instruction. Remember, that's the 323. It's actually a D3. And we will do um, FF. And then we'll do a jump. C3. 0, 0. So this is our program. Run. There we go. It's going so fast we uh, can't see what it's doing. We can stop it, single step it. That's kind of nice. So it's zero. So we're starting at address zero, single step, address one, two. So it's doing a fetch instruction of the keyboard, which is zero, zero. And then it's going to do output to FF. Um, so let's put something on the uh, keyboard. Let's put in a uh, 55 hex. So the next time we read, this is the read instruction from FF, we should get a 55. And we do. So there's a 55 input on the bus as an input uh, read cycle. And then we're going to do an output to FF. And we're going to put this 55 back on. So the program was shoving that back to the front panel. So nice. Uh, run. Yeah. I can't see it. Anyway, so it's up and working. That's great.